The Davis administration is keen on delivering on its goal to lock down the remaining industrial agreements before marking its first year in office. Today, that came in the form of two agreements leading to a slew of benefits amounting to millions of dollars. Our Desmond Saunders was at the office of the Prime Minister for the historic signing. New increases in benefits for over 1,300 customs and immigration officers in the country. President of the Customs and Immigration Allied Workers Union calling the new industrial agreement marginal, but an offer union members accepted. In terms of increases, in the first year we're looking at at least one increment. Um, in terms of an increase, one increment plus a normal increment. In the second year, they're offering two increments plus the normal increment. And in the third year, one increment plus the normal increment. Um, additionally, we have a, a small increase in the uniform allowance. We can say to the hundreds of customs and immigration officers who previously were not receiving shift allowance, that they will in fact be receiving $250 shift allowance. Now, Bahamas Customs generates millions in revenue each year. Minister of State for the Public Service, uh, Honorable Pia Glover Rowe, says it's important to reward the hard work of Bahamians. She adds the $8 million industrial agreement signals a strong relationship between labor and government. Minister, the Honorable Philip Brave Davis, which has translated through our blueprint for change, has committed to reestablishing harmonious working relationships across our nation. Um, harmonious tripartite relationships and that has been evident since day one when we took administration by welcoming our trade unions back to the table immediately by establishing well reforming and establishing uh, an industrial relations unit that was ready to work on day one this year we've seen extraordinary efforts by customs and by immigration in terms of step on the plate and driving um, the revenue performance of this country. In the day's paper, they, they talked about um, the revenue performance, and that is largely attributed to the efforts of the men and women in the customs department as well as the immigration department. Officials calling this a new day for labor relations in the country. This is one of several agreements signed between the government and labor unions. Desmond Saunders for the Bahamas Tonight.